Welcome, everyone, to The Download, a showcase of new games coming soon from all of us at Electronic Arts. We're here today at the beautiful Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles with 4,000 people in the audience and millions more watching on TV and on the web. Everything you're going to see in this next hour is brand new code created for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. 11 great games presented to you by the talented developers who make them. These are the games that will define the new consoles when they launch later this year. It's truly a great year to be a gamer. From blockbusters like Battlefield, Madden, NFL, FIFA, and of course Need for Speed, to the return of favorites like NBA Live and Dragon Age. <laughs> Bioware employees over there. And to brand new games like Titanfall from Respawn. On top of that, we've got some big surprises, so let's get started. And what better way to kick it off than with a beloved franchise that over the years has captivated millions of fans worldwide. stage at E3, <laughs> announcing a third-person action title by PopCap. That is crazy. Plants vs. Zombies is crazy. Last month, we launched PVZ Adventures on Facebook, and on July 18th, we'll be launching PVZ2 on, on mobile. But today, we're introducing Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Coming first to Xbox One and then to Xbox 360, this multiplayer action title, it won't just tickle your funny bone, it'll chew the whole damn thing off. So hold on to your traffic cones and please welcome the brains behind Garden Warfare, producer Brian Lindley and creative director Justin Weeb. Thanks, John. In PBZ Garden Warfare, we've tried to capture everything we love about epic action games and blend it with everything our fans love about PBZ. We're about to show you an exclusive first look of our four-player cooperative survival mode. We hope you enjoy it. Okay, leading us into battle is Justin playing as a pea shooter. Now, Justin just planted a pea turret to help him fight this first wave. Here comes the chili bean. That's great for crowd control. Jeremy's going to join the phrase and chomper. 
our close combat fighter. He's just planted a new path for TBZ2, Bonk Choi. Steph is playing the Sunflower, the healer class of the plant team. And here she is healing the pea shooter, keeping her team in the fight. And last we have Gary who's playing the cactus, who's great at picking off zombies at a distance. Here comes the boss wave. You guys need to work together to take Gargantuar down. <laughs> Gary, let's take this fight to the air. Alright, corn strikes ready, let's finish this thing. Work, clan team. <laughs> thanks, thanks, guys. That was that was amazing. Thanks so much. I'd say I was speechless, but I have one more thing to announce. Coming this year, Paggle Two. <laughs> Hey everyone, we're here today unveiling Titanfall. Titanfall is the first game from Respawn Entertainment. It will be available in the spring 2014 on Xbox One, PC, and Xbox 360. Game development is a team sport, and I consider myself lucky to share the passion of an amazing group of industry veterans and talented newcomers at Respawn. They've been hard at work on this game, so I'm excited to introduce them to you and let them share their vision. So we have a nice video for you. Enjoy. When we started on Titanfall, we had a couple main goals we really wanted to achieve. First and foremost, we wanted something fun. There's so many games now that are just retreading old ground, and we really wanted to do something that was so fun and unique that we couldn't put it down ourselves. The thing that was most exciting about the project is how we have this unusual blend of the scale of Titans and pilots fighting each other. We also take this sort of high degree of polish that we're accustomed to seeing in single-player games and infusing that into a multiplayer experience. 
Even though it's a multiplayer it's game, we really wanted to create a single player feeling world. We wanted to make the worlds a lot more compelling and relatable to the players. One, because you get an emotional attachment to it. And two, it helps in tactical awareness. You feel as if you're not just part of a multiplayer crew of, you know, however many people. You, you're not just there with your friends, you're with this living, breathing world that reacts to you. You walk in and you're like, yeah, I'm the man. Like, you just have that vibe. Go, go, go! The Titans are extensions or evolutions of modern experimental exoskeletons. We treat it as if you're looking at the ultimate evolution of a battle tank. We're really trying to redefine what you think when you see giant robots on screen. They're not lumbering, they're really fast, they're agile, they're fun. There's a lot you can do with them. We wanted to make a game that pitted two different kind of play styles and almost two different games on top of each other. Naturally, it was a real challenge to balance the two to make sure that the Titans felt quite agile and fairly quick without overrunning the pilots completely. The Titan versus Titan experience could almost be its own game, and the pilot versus pilot could be its own game. But what we found was the most interesting things happen when the Titan is fighting the pilot. As a result, our geometry and our levels has been built to accommodate both the scale needed for a Titan to get around, as well as a pilot to be able to get to all these different places via wall running, via double jumping, like tic -tac before I go there. Things. But it's really right. the interplay between the two that's really special. Because mm -hmm. you can get in and out of your Titan at any time. It's a really quick, seamless interaction. And the IMC. <laughs> One thing that I want gamers to take away from this, it's fun. I'm very excited to see when you take something like this and you just put it in the wild and see what people come up with. You've got characters, you've got story, you have moments, things that people traditionally expect from a single player game, putting that all into a multiplayer game and it's awesome. If you've been making games for as long as I have, you recognize those magic moments when breakthroughs in technology create a huge leap forward in gaming. We're at one of those moments right now. Gaming on the consoles will never be the same again. Microsoft and Sony have introduced powerful new systems, and just as important, EA has created all new software engines that will allow us to astonish you with epic new experiences. Engines provide a set of tools, huge amounts of codes, the physics, rendering, special effects, and AI that are foundation of every game. Engines make the hard stuff easy, which allows developers to focus on innovation. At EA, we've invested heavily in two breakthrough engines that you'll see today. EA Sports Ignite and Frostbite 3 from our DICE studio in Stockholm, Sweden. All the games you see next are built on these new engines. We've been working on Ignite and Frostbite 3 for almost two years, and we're still discovering incredible things we didn't know they could do just a few days ago. That means, as good as these games are today, they're going to keep getting better. Our DICE studio is using Frostbite 3 to create an all-new blockbuster. Let's take a look. We are unbound, free. We push the limits in the most powerful cars. We go where we want, as fast as we want. We are the law. You can't catch devils with angels. I am not you. I'm the life you're too scared to live. I'm the reality show, the catalyst. You wanna know why I do this? I wanna know why you don't. 
We are the end of your free. I will never stop. We will hunt you down. You will never right? catch me. We will not stop. You will make me famous. We are everywhere. Fame will break you. You are my you challenge. Are you are our target. You are my rival. Hi, and welcome to a new generation of Need for Speed, led by Ghost Games, ES New Studio. In Need for Speed Rivals, everything starts with the ultimate rivalry between cops and racers. Though you can play through this game offline, it is online that we are revolutionizing with a feature we call All Drive. All Drive destroys the line between single player, co-op, and multiplayer and it gives you one world, and you choose how to experience it. Play it alone or with friends and rivals where your races and chases can collide at any time. All Drive delivers the unexpected, resulting in a non-stop edge of the sea experience. And here to show you what that looks like is the Criterion creative director, Craig Sullivan, and Ghost Games lead designer, James Muat. <laughs> Craig will be playing. Uh, Craig will be playing single player as a racer, and in a minute, James will be playing single player as a cop. As the two screens move together, you will, you will for the first time experience a race that starts in single player and ends in multiplayer. And I will join in on the fun, calling in a helicopter to help James from my, from my tablet. Thank you, guys. Sure. That was awesome. Now, I'd like to switch gears a bit. Um, here's the star in the Need for Speed movie from Breaking Bad, Aaron Paul. Hello, hello. You know, um, as a gamer myself, it's really cool to be here at E3 to share a peek behind the scenes at our movie, Need for Speed. 
Just like the game, we're looking to give you an adrenaline rush that puts you on the edge of your seat. For the first few months, I've been racing around in some of the hottest cars in the world, including this custom Ford Mustang, my car in the movie. So let's take a look, enjoy, and have a great E3. Need for Speed is definitely accurate and authentic to real car racing culture. My job as a director is I'm gonna allow you that thrill and put you in the seat and let you drive at 230 miles an hour. Hi, everyone. I've spent the last 13 years at Bioware, and almost a year ago now, I stepped in to help lead our studio into a next generation, which begins with Dragon Age Inquisition. We're creating a new RPG experience. For the first time, you'll explore a vast open I'm world game, game where your choices not only affect the story, <laughs> but will also change the world around you. You'll lead an Inquisition to restore order to a world in turmoil. You'll meet diverse and complex characters, some new and some who our fans will instantly recognize. Dragon Age Inquisition will launch in the fall of 2014. We're taking the time to craft a deep, captivating experience for you. With that, here's the first glimpse of the next generation of RPGs in our first trailer, The Fires Above. I've seen more of this war than you can imagine. None shall be untouched by the fires above. Faith lies in ashes. Our fragile alliances crumble to dust as this world is torn asunder. Will you stand against it? Or lead this world to its bitter end? At EA Sports, we're proud of our past, our history, and our legacy. But today, we're unveiling the future. Our new games are built and powered by EA Sports Ignite. And today, you'll hear more about how they come to life in three big ways. 
With human intelligence, athletes will have decisions and human-like instincts. With true play emotion, how speed and agility creates dynamic athletic performance. And finally, living worlds, immersive sports environments and games that change with you every single day based on the real world of sports. Here they are, our EA Sports games for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Release, return. The physics of the dribble is release, return. So this release marks the long-awaited return of that hezzy crossover bounce pass that leaves ankles in cast. This release is the return of art to the science of dribble by Basquiat, who dip the ball in acrylic, take it to the paint, and turn Staples Center to Sistine Chapel, where hard physics meets art exhibit meets advanced analytics like, look, ma, both hands, no coding tricks or motion scandals. The game of basketball can finally handle my handles because this release is the return of what every true baller knows. If you love something, let it go. Release, and if your game is tight enough, it will return. Go, go, go. Go, oh, Kyrie. Yeah, I'm good. What a great way to express our focus and vision for NBA Live. Thank you to Seiku Andrews, the world's leading poetic bows. And who better to, share me, to help me share that vision than NBA All-Star Kyrie Irving. How you doing? I am so excited to be back at EA Sports leading the team in Orlando. Our focus is simple, to create a great basketball game exclusively for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Now, Kyrie, why don't you tell everyone why dribbling is such an important part of your game? Uh, well, Sean, the dribble opens up so many different opportunities. Um, you need freedom, creativity, and control. Without it, uh, your options are limited. Kyrie, is, you have been to a lot of basketball games, but no one has ever done dribbling well. It's always lacked the depth of true ball handling until now. It's our number one priority. We're redefining the dribble with a brand new next generation technology called Bounce Tech. Now, Kyrie, when you were with us in Orlando, we talked a lot about different ways in which you break down your opponent. What's going through your head in those situations? What are you trying to do? In those situations, I'm just trying to be as efficient as possible, looking at different angles, looking at my defender's feet, and uh, basically trying to be creative. Uh, I try all my new moves in games. That's how I play. Now, with Bounce Tech, for the first time ever, we're actually releasing the ball to physics. Up to this point, your hand was literally tied to the ball. Ball handling was completely unnatural and absolutely predictable. The ball was just along for the ride. Now with Bounce Tech, we separate the ball from the hand in every single dribbling animation. This gives the player unprecedented control and authentic responsiveness. It now becomes you, your opponent, and the ball. Finally allowing for creativity and self-expression. And now you can't be creative without first understanding your opponent. Kyrie, we've talked a lot about how you scout each and every one of your opponents. Now, how does that help you in your game? Well, knowing every opponent is huge. Um, every opponent is different. Uh, they have different tendencies, different spots on the floor. Um, being prepared for every different moment is really important. And, uh, you know, I take a lot of time to prepare for every game. That's exactly what this game delivers. The same data that all 30 NBA teams received will be pushed exclusively to the NBA Live Gamer. And get this, not monthly, weekly, or daily, but within an hour after it happens. This has never been done before. NBA Live will be a new experience every time you pick up the controller. It starts today, right here, right now. NBA Live is back. Now let's take a look at the first NBA Live 14 trailer, starring this guy. <laughs>
Today, we're introducing Madden NFL 25 for Xbox One and PlayStation 4, a game that looks, feels, and responds in a way you've never experienced before. Everything you see here today is actual gameplay footage. Through major gameplay innovation, we've given players the ability to think intelligently and move more like elite NFL athletes. The result, the smoothest and most authentic gameplay to date. Our new True Step locomotion system calculates incredible detail with every individual step. You now have the ability to foot plant, cut, and shift momentum with precise footwork, which means greater realism, more control, and more fun. Our new Player Sense feature uses 50 times more contextual calculations per second. This allows players to scan their environment, navigate with awareness, and react on the fly. Like we're seeing right here, a ball carrier can instinctively leap to avoid a falling player and extend his run. Or a blitzing linebacker will deliberately slide past a teammate through a gap in the line to get to the QB. And the combination of intelligence and player movement is no more evident than at the line of scrimmage with the war in the trenches. We saw it in this year's NFL draft. Eight of the first 10 picks were offensive and defensive linemen. Line play is at the heart of football, and now it's the foundation of Madden. Linemen are more than just physical, they're intelligent, and we've rebuilt our O-line D-line play from the ground up. And now offensive linemen dynamically sort and shift assignments based on threats. This creates realistic running lanes and passing pockets. Double teams, blitz pickups, and pocket awareness showcase units working together as one, finally giving you the protection you need to step up and deliver the ball. Through the power of EA Sports Ignite, our gameplay is closer to NFL football than ever before, with players who move and think more like NFL athletes. Add to that stunning visuals. Every nuance of a player's face, clothing, and equipment is rendered with amazing detail. Madden NFL has never looked or felt so real. And to celebrate this next generation of Madden, we're unveiling a new cover featuring Adrian Peterson, the greatest running back in today's NFL. <laughs> to finish things off, here's what you've all been asking for. The first full-length trailer featuring actual gameplay footage from the next generation of Madden launching this fall. Cuando salí, ve, para mí, lo personal, el momento más tranquilo, ¿no? el, el hacer que dije, lo que hago siempre, de jugar al fútbol e intentar de, de hacer las cosas bien. We want to take the possession of the ball and you have to take some risks sometimes, and, but it's, it's how we understand uh, the football. We like to keep the ball and have the control of the game. We, we like to have the possession most of the time and create chances from that. Yo soy un pasador, me defino así, y tengo que tener un movimiento a, por delante mío. Vivo de eso, vivo del compañero y que el momento del desmarque, pues estés atento para verlo en el momento justo y adecuado. La sensación de marcar un gol es la sensación más más gratificante, más más vistosa, más de más de más felicidad, ¿no? La culminación de del fútbol. Messi! What a goal!
My life takes me to places all around the world, like Barcelona. I meet people from every walk of life, and no matter where I go, there are two constants. Everybody wants to talk soccer, and everyone is playing FIFA. My passion for soccer runs deep, and my respect for the team behind FIFA is just as deep. When I play the game, I can only think about what the development team behind the game are doing to make the FIFA I love even better. That's why I've been connected to FIFA in the past. That's why we're connected here today, and of course, in the future. But at the end of the day, I'm just one fan who loves FIFA, a fan who plays a lot of FIFA, and I cannot wait to see the next generation here today. So, let's get on with it. Here is Matt Bilby and FIFA 14. Thank everyone. Such a great fan of FIFA. Innovation is what drives our FIFA team. And this year with EA Sports Ignite, we're building an experience that will be the most authentic football game in history. Let's see some actual gameplay. We're looking here at Barcelona's Camp Nou. If you've ever wondered what it feels like to be right there with 100,000 passionate fans, now you will. Thanks to Ignite, our stadiums are alive. You'll now see and feel the reactions and emotions from both players and crowds. And we have massive gameplay innovations we're unveiling here today. Now, you and every other player on the pitch have pro instincts. For the first time, players can now make intelligent decisions with four times more calculations per second. Players like Xavi now analyze and respond to the action so they can anticipate and avoid contact, maintain possession, or brace for challenges and big collisions. And on the pitch, you'll move with the precision movement of a pro. The athletic abilities of players like Messi come to life as they explode out of each step and every turn, preserving their natural momentum. Finally, you'll have the freedom to be, make decisive cuts with the ball, to burst around opponents or dance between defenders. With elite technique, powered by the memory of the new consoles, you now have the arsenal of stunning shots, creative passes, and magical moves you've always wanted. We've added hundreds of new skills to make the artistry of football come to life. With players who think intelligently, move like real athletes, and live in stadiums that are full of emotion, nothing will match the exhilaration you feel when playing FIFA 14. This is the future of football that our fans have dreamed of, coming this fall, on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. We are very proud to have a fully playable next-gen version of FIFA 14 this week at E3. Have fun playing FIFA, everyone. gentlemen the voice of the UFC guys thanks for being here really appreciate you being with us today last year here at E3 we announced a brand new partnership with the UFC our journey together has already been amazing it's awesome to now be part of the fastest growing sport on the planet thank you 
First of all, I want to say we are truly honored to be in business with you, my friend. The early stuff that I've seen from the game is amazing. But first, I want to tell you guys a little story that I told the boys over at EA uh, about why this is a universal sport. First of all, I believe fighting was the first sport ever on this planet. Before a guy hit a ball with a stick, before a guy threw a ball through a circle, two men were put on this earth, somebody threw a punch, and whoever was standing around ran over and watched, okay? That's what I truly believe. And I'll tell you why this thing works everywhere. Because I don't care what color you are, what language you speak, or what country you come from, we're all human beings, fighting's in our DNA, we get it, and we like it. Anybody disagree with that? <laughs> this game is gonna be amazing. I'm so pumped up for all the fans all over the world. These guys do an amazing job from production to marketing and fight fans everywhere will get to experience this game. Dana, thank you so much. Round of, listen, well, you heard it here today. So now you get to feel what it's like when that cage door slams closed behind you. You get to feel the fight with champions like Ben Henderson and John Jones. But before we unveil our first trailer, let's talk about a couple of groundbreaking new features that gamers are going to love and get to see this week at the show. First, our new MMAI system. It lets fighters organically alter the strategies throughout the fight. This is a huge part of fighting and it takes a unique level of intelligence. John Jones, this man here is one of the smartest fighters in the octagon. His fight with Charles Sonnen was a perfect example. Yeah, like uh, for example, in my last fight, I was fighting a guy who was a magnificent wrestler. I knew he was going to try to take me down, so I took him down first. I did exactly what he expected me not to do, and that's what fighting is about. It's about improv skills and uh, mixing it up. So that's what it takes in the octagon. But you want to be an ultimate fighter. You want to know what it feels like to be punched in the face. <laughs> Well, listen, the human body has a visceral reaction to being hit. So we built a brand new technology that lets gamers see and feel how bodies respond to every strike and every submission. It's full body defamation, and no other fighting game has ever done this before. When I catch someone in my guillotine choke, there's no space between us. I'm squeezing hard enough to finish the fight. Bringing that into the life it makes it 100% authentic to what we as fighters feel inside that octagon. Listen, these are just two of our new gameplay features, but there's a lot more to come. The game launches worldwide on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 next spring. Like I said before, nobody does it better than these guys. I've been waiting for this deal for a long time. And I'm not just saying UFC fan. If you are a fight fan, this is going to be the best fight game ever made. I hope you love the trailer. It is said that the first sport, the original main event that thrilled the masses, considered the greatest spectacle of all, was the fight. Thanks. So people talk about next generation gaming, but what does that really mean? For us at DICE, it's not just about pretty graphics. It's a total package of emotion, immersion, and being connected that really counts. The next generation of Battlefield stands for many things. Only in Battlefield can you experience destruction and dynamic environments that react to your every move. It's a design we call Levolution. 
Only in Battlefield will you feel the chaos of All Out War with 64 players all around you. Only in Battlefield will you have the power to dominate air, land, and sea. And only in Battlefield will you experience true team play with your squad. So in Battlefield 4, we are giving you commander mode. <laughs> As a commander, thank you. As a commander, you take a bird's eye view and directly impact the action on the ground. You provide critical intelligence to your team and power with powerful assets, and you help turn the tide of the battle. Now, commander mode is a part of a connected battlefield experience, which you can enjoy either in your living room or on the go with your tablet. Part of that connected experience is also battle log. And this is our social network that lets players communicate and compete with friends. With our new features, you will be able to interact directly with the game anytime, anywhere, and on multiple devices. So let's jump into the demo. I'd like to invite Alex on stage to play the game. But to showcase the massive scale and scope, we're going to need a little help. What you're about to see is a multiplayer map called Siege of Shanghai. Isn't that awesome? We have 64 players who will be playing this game live right now. I know. <laughs> you will be able to tune in all week during E3 to see the 64 player live stream on battlefield.com straight from our booth. And in this demo, we'll be following Alex and his five-person squad as they try to capture the control points to dominate the battle. So Alex, take it away. All right, guys. There's quite a few people watching tonight, so let's not screw this up. Let's do this. I'm pumped. This is your commander here. Please move in and attack point B. Roger, we're on it. Hostiles. All right, nice work, guys. Let's take a look around. All right. OK, team, please move up to point C. I'm giving you an order. Guys, we have a tank up here. I got an Thanks. idea. Alex, come down here and take out the support pillar. I got C4. All right. Let's try this. Nice. Bye bye. Nicely done. Let's move. Watch out for the Jeep. Up. That was close. Alex, there's an attack boat down here. Let's go in it. All right. Point C is on top of the skyscraper, guys. On top of the skyscraper. Incoming. Hey. On it. Incoming attack, Kelly. Bill out. I'm out. Right behind you.
Let's get into the skyscraper. Following you. Run, run! All right, let's clear the top floor. Heads off, enemy tank, just south of your location. Oh, chopper's back. Back up! Take it out. Good job. Nice. Guys, you feel that rumbling? Yeah. Looks like we have some tanks over here. They're trying to take this building down. Commander, we could use some help here. You got anything? Yeah, sure. I'm going to send in the heavy artillery. Here comes the missile. Firing. All right. I see it. Incoming. Nice. Right on target. Thank you. Listen up. Enemy helicopter just south of your current position. Also spotted. Get out. Get out. That building is unstable. You better get out. Jump. Building's going down! There appears to be an enemy. Aid your soldier. Get into your current Back me up, right? Thanks, guys. That was uh, pretty awesome. I hope you agree with that. Now, uh, before we leave, we have a bit of a surprise for all you DICE fans out there. For many, many years, you've been asking for one specific thing. Well, it's time for us at DICE to deliver. Have a great show. Thank you. Thought you might like that one. Faith is back. Mirror's Edge, everyone, coming from our incredible team at DICE. So there you have it, 11 fantastic titles to define a new generation in gaming. For those of you lucky enough to be at E3 here in Los Angeles, you'll be the first to get your hands on our Xbox One and PlayStation 4 titles at the EA booth. Join us for 64-station multiplayer Battlefield 4. 
as well as for Need for Speed Rivals and the EA Sports Ignite experience. For those of you at home, get ready. It's going to be a great year for gamers. Thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy the show. Thanks, everyone.